signal is not the loss of all their telemetry. I'm not sure. But that's uh, unusual. <coughs> Doesn't mean anything's wrong. Oh, no. It may just be out of the field of view of the, of the particular tracking station. Uh, because of this, a longer blackout period than we had anticipated as far as actual communications go. This must be a, just a communications. Uh, Apollo 13 uh, should have entered uh, the Earth's atmosphere at this time. Moments ago, we had a report uh, from uh, the retro fire officer that uh, based on uh, his data, predicted uh, set of coordinates uh, for splash of uh, 21 degrees, uh, 39 minutes south, uh, 165 degrees, 22 minutes west. That's within roughly two miles of uh, original the, uh, number. period of blackout uh, for the spacecraft uh, should have begun about uh, 20 some odd seconds ago. Heat floating up right now to that 5,000 degrees. The ablative shield actually melts away. Is the, and I think, Wally, that is still a secret formula, isn't it, that we use? To yes, use? this uh, process, of course, was uh, developed uh, simultaneously with what we call the heat sink. We used a brilliant heat shield on our first flight when the Shepard flew. And Apollo Control Houston. The uh, ablative technique. Apollo 13 should be coming to, up uh, on Max G right now. Make it much lighter. And it actually goes off as a gas. The, uh, the material looks charred when it's done, but you say melting is just as good. It, uh, and of course, that permits us to uh, dissipate the heat uh, as it trails behind the vehicle. Must be some site. Our last the estimate uh, for Max G was 5.2 G's. Should be coming out of that blackout in uh, just about uh, another minute and 15 seconds, according to the calculations here. We have about a minute and a half to go uh, during this period of blackout. on Grand Central Station in New York like in the mission control, the uh, scene from the recovery uh, ship Iwo Jima has been flashed up on one of our large screens uh, for all of the flight controllers to watch. That's much more We have about to... one minute to go now from uh, There's nothing they time can do now. into blackout. No, they've done their work well. Very, very well. Real crew. Just the parachutes now. Three big 83 foot diameter nylon chutes. They've got the whole load to bear very shortly. About 30 seconds to go uh, for blackout. Less than 10 seconds now, uh, we will attempt to uh, contact Apollo 13 uh, through one of the Araya aircraft. And 10 minutes from now, continue to monitor down. this okay. Apollo Control Houston. should be uh, out of blackout at this time. Uh, we're standing by for any reports of Araya acquisition. The Araya uh, C-135 type aircraft. Araya is a range instrumented aircraft, isn't that it? Yes. <coughs> As they uh, 
uh, four-engine uh, military jet, uh, KC-135, uh, long-range, lots of fuel, and carries a large collection of electronics just for this, pr uh, this particular purpose, to fill in the voids in the tracking area. We ought to be hearing something. And now, uh, should have been out of that blackout by a minute, 15 seconds. Probably the most trying moment of any space. Coming up now in three minutes until time of drogue deployment. Standing by for any reports of acquisition. We've had a report that a RIA 4 aircraft uh, has acquisition of uh -huh. signal. Uh -huh. Through the blackout. Feeling better. <laughs> now just the shoot. Just the shoot. Odyssey Houston standing by over. Okay, go. That's all I need to hear. Okay, we read you, Jack. <laughs> that was uh, Jim Lovell responding with the okay, Joe. <laughs> Checking on Jack. Right? That was Command Module Pilot Jack Swain. That was right. We're looking at the weather on TV, and it looks just as advertised, real good. Houston, Texas, telling the spacecraft plummeting down through the atmosphere up over the Pacific with the weather below them is good. They can see on a picture. <laughs> <laughs> These people watching the CBS monitor Grand Central Station near the blue sky over the Pacific. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the radar antenna on the carrier to see if it's locked up. Less than uh, a minute away now from uh, time of drogue deployment. 16 and a half foot drogue chute pulls out the, the uh, three main chutes or help stabilize the spacecraft, preparatory to pulling them out, and a little pilot you like to pull them out. coming out in 10 or 15 seconds. We are looking out there. We are looking out there. Less than uh, 30 seconds away now from uh, drogue deployment. Uh, the uh, drogue deployment, these two chutes uh, will uh, provide uh, Breaking and uh, stabilization prior to main shoot deployment. Standing by now for continuing to monitor. Odyssey Houston, uh, standing by for your run now at 67. Uh, when you get it over. <laughs> Animation shows it. Let's hope to hear it here. to the excitement on the Iwo Jima. We can <laughs> call in Richard O'Brien on the Iwo Jima. Come in, Richard. There it is. That was a chopper. That's a chopper. That is it. That was it. Oh, great news. <laughs> We can see the, uh, the Those are the Look at that. Those are the three mains. That's the best side. <laughs> oh, boy. 